Hey YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kia and you're watching Kia's Budget Life. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. This is the monthly closeout for September 2023. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. If you are new, I just, I'm just basically showing you guys all my transactions. These are normally called weekly check-ins, but since it's the end of the month, um, this is a monthly closeout because I'm going to show you guys, you know, all my budget sheets in this a binder, in this planner. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I do get paid on Thursday. So we normally do from Thursday to Wednesday, but since this is the end of the month we are doing from um thursday the 21st to uh the 30th so on thursday the 21st i went to dollar general and spent 13.91 that was on some diapers for my four-year-old and i stopped at sundu and got gas for 25 dollars on friday um i had a birthday party to go to that saturday so i spent friday getting gifts and things like that for my niece she just turned one um, this was technically her birthday right here on the 22nd, but the party was um, Saturday. So um, I went to Dollar Tree to get some gift wrap and a gift bag for $2.68. And Hobby Lobby was right next door, so I went there to get some more of this decorative paper for my planner. I am still working on my planner for the rest of the, um, for not just for the rest of the year, but for next year too. And I bought the decorative paper before but i can't find it so i was like i'm just gonna go back and get it because i really want to go ahead and, fi and finish this planner out i spent three dollars and 95 cent on that so i went to roses and this is where i got um my niece's gifts and everything i got her an outfit two toys and i also got five um bath towels for the house um that was actually unbudgeted so that's what that twenty dollars and 24 cent um, that's what that transaction is because we need it desperately for one of our bathrooms. We have two bathrooms in our house and one of our bathrooms needed some towels. And I just want all white towels in there because it's kind of like a kind of like a beach thing going in there. So um, that's what that $20.24 is. So this $15 and the $3, these two are actually together. The, um, the whole transaction was $18. But I separated it like that because I took $3 out of my giving envelope. And then the rest came out of um, my gifts envelopes. Because like I said, I went there to get her some gifts. I didn't have enough spend day on the 23rd. And then on the 24th, I went to McDonald's and spent $9.08. Monday on the 25th, I got gas at Sundu for $25. I went to Walmart to get some bath tissue for $3.02. And ate at McDonald's for $7.14. No spend day on the 26th, and then on Wednesday, um, the 27th, I got gas at Atkinson, and that was on budget for $20. I got paid on Thursday, and I put gas in the car again at Sunday for $40. I have no idea why I have two back-to-back -back like that, because I must have been doing some a lot of driving. I can't think right now where what I mean what I was doing, but it, this is weird <laughs> because the car I drive doesn't take a lot of gas, and um, yeah, I'm not sure what's what what happened. You know, I don't know what happened, but it is what it is. Okay, so Thursday night I had scheduled to get my hair braided. Friday morning, um, my sister was going to braid my hair. So I spent Thursday night washing, detangling, and drying my hair. You guys, I have long hair, honey. Like super long, like bra strap length hair. So it took me a long time. I was up until about 2 o'clock that morning doing my hair. And I had to turn around and get up Friday morning to take the kids to school. And I got my hair done. I got my hair braided the whole time they was in school Friday. So I was super tired. <laughs> That's what this is on Friday. The um, I spent $120 on my braids. So she started at 8.30. School starts at 8 o'clock. So I dropped the kids off. And by the time I got to her house and she actually officially got started on my hair, it was 8.30. And then um, here in my town... All the kids get out at 3.20 except for preschoolers. And I do have a preschooler and um, he gets out at 2.30. So um, it just so happens that my husband got off early because he normally gets off at 5 o'clock. And he caught me around about noon and told me he was getting off at 2 because he had to take his his um, 
his dad, he had to take him to his doctor's appointment at three or something like that. I thought that's perfect because I can have you, you know, pick up our preschooler at 2.30. That way my sister can finish my hair because she originally told me she would be doing my hair at two. So I, you know, I have time to go get my boys from school. But, you know, around noon-ish, I was like, she's not gonna be doing my hair. Um, I had him pick up our son at 2.30. And I was like, she should definitely be done by, you know, the time my oldest son gets out of school at 320. Y'all, I had to leave at 3 o'clock to go pick my son up. And she still wasn't done. She had like a little bit at the top to do. So I went to go pick him up. By the time I got back, it was 4 o'clock. And I left her house at 6 o'clock. So it took a total of 8 hours to do my hair. When she finished at 6 o'clock, I was not going home to cook. I was so tired. So that's what these two tr takeout transactions came from. I went to McDonald's and got my kids, you know, some food for 1987. And I went to this place called Arnold's and spent $20 on um, a seafood bowl. I got crab legs, shrimp. Um, it, was, it had crab legs, shrimp, uh, potatoes, and corn in it. Because I was really hungry. I had ate anything all day. I originally put in $140 going towards my braids, but I had changed up the way I wanted my braids. So she knocked off $20. So I just put that $20 towards my food. And that was that day. And in the last day of the month, um, we went to the fair. Our family of seven had a ball, you guys. We went there at 11 o'clock that morning and we left at eight o'clock that night. <laughs> so I spent $195 there. And now that is not the full price of a family of seven. That's just a, now that was just three of us. <laughs> My husband put in some money towards it and stuff like that too, but I only put in $195. So that is it for my calendar, you guys. I had two no spend days this week or that last week here, which is a total of six all month. And my goal is 14, so I did not achieve that. I didn't even get halfway, but it's okay. We're going to work on October. All right, so flipping over to my weekly check-in. I didn't put anything into spending. I didn't spend anything, so I still have negative 33 um, I instead negative $33. I put in $120 for gas. I spent $110, so I had $10 left over. So I'm still $74. I still have $74 left for the month. I put in $50 for takeout. I spent $58, and I still have $4 left for the month. I have $44 worth of unbudgeted transactions, so I now have $116 of unbudgeted transactions for the month. Flipping over to my monthly budget sheets. Starting with my income section, I budgeted, I estimated $720 for my husband to bring in this month, and he actually brought in $926. I budgeted $376 for myself, and I actually brought in $307. I budgeted $900 for my Social Security, and I actually got $914. And I budget, or I keep saying budget, I estimated $136 for child support, and I actually got $69. So it was a $84 uh difference which wasn't too bad and then my variable expenses i budgeted four dollars for spending and i actually spent 73 so i'm negative 33. i budgeted 360 and i actually spent 286 in gas so i'm positive 74. i budgeted 80 dollars for takeout i actually spent 76 so i'm positive four dollars i budgeted the water bill to be 25 it was actually 23 so i had two dollars i budgeted 260 dollars for the light bill it was actually 232, size so poverty 28. That was a total of 765 that I budgeted for variable expenses, and I actually spent 690, so I'm positive $75. So my fixed expenses totaled to be 843, and my savings that I currently have right now out of all of my savings challenges is $383. All right, so I'm now showing you guys my budget sheets. So this sheet here has my paycheck budget and my income that I list. So my paycheck budget, I get paid every week. So all the bills are paid. And this is my income. I got it color coded. Mine's is in pink. My husband's is in um, orange and anything else is in green. Um, my sinking funds. Can you guys see? Let me move this over. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. So my sinking funds, I... Had a total of 858 when I started, and then I ended it. I ended this month out with 988, which is a difference of 130. So this saving sheet is just me keeping track of how much I put into my savings um, binder, um, and what I take out. Which the only thing I normally take out is um, my saveopoly. And then here is my expense tracker. 
I do have four of these, and I'm just showing you guys how much I spent. So it's two full sheets, and then I have the third one here. I never made it to the fourth one. You guys already seen my weekly check-in and my monthly budget. So if you guys are interested in any of these budget sheets, please feel free to check out my Etsy shop. I now have available for you guys. All these budget sheets are $1. But make sure you check them out and support your girl on her Etsy shop. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys for the very next video. Bye, guys.